drinking coffee, take a sip, they say I'm sparkling. Manifest it, write it down, you know it's happening. A portion of this video is sponsored by Neutrogena Hydro Boost. What up beauty gang and welcome to my healthy habits for a productive day morning routine. One of my main priorities this year was to establish a disciplined and intentional morning routine for myself so that I could have more productive days. The old me used to just wake up and allow the day to happen to me and oftentimes I'd finish those days feeling unfulfilled and unproductive because I didn't feel like I was maximizing my days and therefore inevitably not maximizing the quality of my life. However, the past few months I started implementing a few healthy habits throughout my morning routine that have really helped me regain control and live my life with more intention. So today I'm going to be sharing a few things with you guys that have transformed the quality and productivity of my days. So now instead of grabbing my phone and scrolling first thing in the morning, I start my days with some one-on-one -on -one time with God, making sure that I feel spiritually fed and grounded to start off my day. So that's through prayer, reading my daily devotional, which I love so much because there is a devotion assigned to every day of the year. On top of that, it also has a prayer at the end of each devotional that I like to read aloud and then also has lines with writing space at the bottom of each page so that you can reflect on the passage from the day. In addition to that, I recently have been getting more into the Bible and allowing the devotional book to be my guide because each devotional page references a Bible verse. So I just find the chapter that the Bible verse is located in and then end up reading the whole chapter and highlighting along the way. Then after I'm done with my devotional and a little bit of Bible study, I switch over to my positivity journal. This is something that my brother recently put me on to to write down 10 things that I am grateful for, happy about, want to manifest for myself and or affirm within myself. And it's honestly amazing the natural high and clearer mind I get whenever I start my day on a tech-free, positive and intentional note. Now the next step in my routine is to give myself a little TLC, starting off with some hygiene. So I like to cleanse my face, getting rid of all those eye boogers, crust and dust from a good night's sleep, then replenish my skin with hydrating products that help me achieve that healthy glow. Which leads me to this portion of the video that is sponsored by Neutrogena Hydro Boost. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Gel Cream is a non-greasy, lightweight, fragrance-free formula that literally makes your skin look like it is glowing from within. It has a unique water gel cream formula that absorbs quickly like a gel, yet has a long lasting moisturizing power of a cream to quench the skin's thirst. I don't know about you guys, but my skin stays thirsty regardless of what season we're in. However, since I recently started incorporating the Neutrogena Hydro Boost within my skincare routine, it's been like a tall glass of cold water on the hottest summer day for my skin because it's formulated with dermatologist recommended hydrating ingredients such as hyaluronic acid and glycerin. Hyaluronic acid is already naturally found in our skin. However, the hyaluronic acid in this product hydrates by binding to water and holding it within our skin's surface. The glycerin, on the other hand, acts as a humectant that penetrates skin nine surface layers for long-lasting hydration. So not only does the Neutrogena Hydro Boost strengthen the skin's moisture barrier, it also offers a lightweight 48-hour long-lasting hydration for healthy glowing skin. So I I highly recommend running to your nearest store and picking it up today so that you can say hello to a healthy glow and give your skin a boost. Thanks to Neutrogena Hydro Boost for sponsoring that part of my video. Now back to my regular content. TLC doesn't stop with just skincare. We also got to make sure that breath is hitting right and them teeth is looking good. So top tier oral hygiene is a must. Now the next healthy habit that has been super transformative in my life, consistently working out. Honestly, when I first started this fitness journey, I'll admit my reasons were a little bit more superficial. It was more about like body goals, weight loss, stepping on the scale and being happy with that number. However, when I started to notice the mental health benefits and improvements that I was starting to receive from making fitness more of a lifestyle thing rather than a seasonal thing, I stuck with it and never looked back. And now, oddly enough, it's weird to say, but I find enjoyment out of going to the gym and working out and challenging myself where it requires mind over body in order for me to complete a workout. Now I'm not gonna lie, obviously the body gains and the sculpted physique is a huge bonus and definitely plays a factor in keeping me motivated to continue going. But if there is one thing that I have learned more now than ever in my 20s, it's that motivation is fleeting and unreliable at times because it requires a certain mental or emotional approach to reach a goal and can fluctuate depending on the outward conditions. However, discipline is key because when established, it is unyielding 
and can help you conquer the toughest challenges because it forces you to follow through. Discipline keeps you going even when your curiosity, motivation, and excitement evaporate. It's about doing what needs to be done, not necessarily what you want to do, and choosing between what you want now versus what you want for your future. That's why self-discipline is so important. It helps us to overcome laziness and procrastination and prevents us from taking things for granted because it delays short-term gratification for long-term reward. Now, I don't want to sound like I have it all together or I'm this perfectly disciplined person because realistically, every day doesn't look exactly like this. However, the more I implement these healthy habits and work on my mentality when it comes to establishing discipline in my life, I can see and feel myself becoming a stronger, more self-assured person. Another healthy habit that's been super beneficial for me when it comes to having a productive day is taking time for stillness or in other words taking time to be bored. I feel like the word boredom has such a negative connotation to it as if it's a bad thing which brings me to pose a question for you guys. When is the last time you sat in silence with yourself? No distractions, no technology, no music, no tv, no entertainment, just complete silence and stillness. I was posed a similar question earlier this year that actually resulted in me breaking down and getting very emotional because I couldn't give them an answer and that's when it clicked for me and I realized how much I'd been neglecting one of the most important relationships in my life my relationship with self. So ever since I became aware of that deficiency in my life, I decided to be more intentional about uninterrupted me time and have been loving getting to know myself. Now, after all is said and done in terms of the intentionality of how I start my morning, now we're starting to get into the productive side of things. So healthy habits continued. I now make sure I prioritize eating something in the morning, preferably that consists of some nutritional value, obviously not talking about the whipped cream, but whether that be a fruit, fruit smoothie, granola bar, something. Then after I eat, I like to tidy up and clean the house a little bit because I truly believe in clean space, clear mind. At this point in my life, I know myself well enough to know I don't function well, nor do I have productive days when my space is cluttered. Oftentimes, my mind feels like the space that I'm in. So I made sure in recent months that I prioritize my environment, how it's looking, how it's feeling in order for me to have a successful day, especially because my environment plays such a massive role in my work life and to me this kind of plays back into that previous conversation on motivation versus discipline i'm not motivated to work or film videos if my space is not clean and clear but if i don't have discipline established within self to actually clean and clear my environment regardless of how i feel that day then literally nothing gets done hence why i didn't have productive days in the past but now when i have a decluttered space and environment to work in i'm able to have the mental capacity I need to successfully plan out and execute my day, which usually looks like checking business emails, getting back to management, and writing in my daily planner the top priorities I have for the day, a to-do list for the day or week, as well as a soft schedule for how I'd like the flow of my day to go. Once I started implementing and sticking with this morning routine of intentionality and discipline, I noticed myself not only happier, but more at peace. So I hope you guys found this video helpful, insightful, and or at bare minimum motivational to start establishing some healthy habits within your own life.